Hey guys, welcome back to another Chief Pep video. This week, we're gonna put the bike on the wheels. So this week I've put everything together and uh, the bike is on its wheels. And before we jump in that video, let me explain that that powder coating is a pretty thick layer. So sometimes I have to open up some holes to make everything fit or I have to take off a little bit of the coating. But for the rest, it's a pretty cool video. Have a look. First I had to turn around the carburetor and install my mini air filter which I bought. To install these carburetors, the easiest way is to leave the air intake manifold boots on your cylinder, heat them up a bit, put some white grease on them and just stick the carbs in. Press them in well, because you don't want any false air to come in through these manifolds. These are the only small air filters that will fit on your twin Hitachi or Mikuni type carburetors. I found them eventually on a website with parts for mini or pocket bikes. I use these on my scrammer also and they look, sound and work great. Then I installed the front cylinder stay. It's always hard to install this one, since it just fits over the cylinder bolts. Also, due to the powder coating, this could make the holes of the stay a bit smaller, which makes it a little bit harder. It's important that if you tap it on like I do, you, that you do this exactly equal. Because if you don't, you can damage a lot and you can barely correct it. My frame number was masked for the powder coating. I thought it might be a good idea to undo it from the coating and just add a piece of tape which you, you can take off easily. Then I needed to clean the bearing housing for the steering stem to roughly to make sure all the sandblast medium was gone. I polished the bearing housing with my trusty old StarClean polish paste. I noticed a sharp edge in the frame and I was afraid this might damage the bearing so I grinded that off with my Dremel tool. And after that I added some bearing grease. Then I put the frame on the engine. added my newly bought bolts.
and added the powder coated frame piece we made earlier for the ignition lock. I readied the bottom joke, thanks Tony for finding the words, before inserting since it wasn't clean enough yet. Grease the bearing carefully. I tapped in the bearing housing, which I took out from the sand blasting and greased it. I placed the tapered steering, needle bearing and inserted the joke. Then it was time to insert the front forks with, of course, new Allen bolts. Since the rear end would be next, I decided to turn my motor lift in my garage. This was a great moment, when you sip your coffee and look at how things are finally working out.
then to install the lower part of the frame. Nuts and bolts that I reuse, I've cleaned ultrasound and polished them a bit. Then the swing arm. This is one of those moments that due to the powder coating, a shaft didn't fit anymore in its hole. I need to undo it from its coating. Next to that, the fine thread was also a bit coated, so I used my thread repair file to make it clean again. This is really a tool you should have in your garage. This is how the shock link looks. Then it was time for the rear wheel. I could deflate the tire, then it will get past the shaft housing, but I decided just to leave the shaft mechanism a bit loose, so I could put in the rear all at once. test fit things first. I needed to use some liquid gasket sealing on this housing. This is to keep the rainwater from coming in. These are the coded and modified footrest brackets. Oh, <laughs> 
So that was a pretty short introduction and it will be a pretty short outro as well. Don't forget to subscribe because now after everything is happening because I'm really continuing to build the bike. So only good footage is coming up. So uh, subscribe to my channel and put the thumbs up, of course, if you like this video and uh, put the notification bell on so that you know when I upload my video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.